My name is Eric Kalkro. I'm a 54-year-old uh, dialysis patient. I'm from northern Manitoba, uh, Norway House, uh, Cree Nation. Uh, I've been on dialysis, uh, well, this time around anyway, just my second time on dialysis, actually. Uh, let me go back to the first time I was on dialysis. Uh, back in 1989-90, I started my dialysis in uh, March. 1989, and uh, shortly after I took uh, home home dialysis training at the Sherbrooke unit. And by November, early November, I was back at North House uh, with my own machine dialyzing at the North House Hospital. And back in, um, I believe, in 84, 85, I, uh, I was in pretty good health there. Like, I was working at the Ironically, at the North House Hospital there, I was working with that in, in the maintenance department, and I, no, I noticed I started getting gradually getting weaker. I started having this uh, flu like symptoms all the time, and I was getting weaker, losing weight. Eventually, I, I used to play hockey, and I had to stop playing hockey. And then I uh, eventually I got sent I got sent out here to Winnipeg for for some tests. So after a while, uh, I was told that uh, I had this uh, rare, rare disease called hemo, uh, amy, amy, amyloidosis. This was back in 84, 85. So when I first diagnosed with, uh, with, with uh, kidney failure, well, of course, I was angry. Denial. I had denial. I like, you know, it can be, you know, it can can be true, you know. Maybe they misdiagnosed me, you know. So I really didn't know what allergies was. I figured that to stay on a machine every day, like be hooked up uh, every day, you know, like I don't know, so many hours, like, and uh, eventually I. Uh, got invited to a workshop about uh, dialysis and my understanding of dialysis became clear. Like, I don't think I'll ever be able to do it. I wasn't confident at all, but I saw uh, 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 that summer, uh, June, I think, I started my home dialysis training, the Cerebral Unit. I had a wonderful teacher at the time. Uh, his name was uh, Ron, Ron Stiling. It's nice. He was Awesome, great, a lot of help. So I dialyzed not quite two years, uh, uh, a little less than two years, and I, spring of, uh, no, no, winter of uh, 91, January 2nd, I had my kidney transplant. That lasted 17 years. And finally in uh, 2007, I had to uh, eventually go back on dialysis, uh, January 3rd. 2000, sorry, 2008. Uh, the first call I had was in April, uh, early April, to start my home training. <coughs> but uh, I told them I like to, uh, I like to uh, have it on hold for a while. Like uh, I'm a coach too. I coach my grandkids. You know, I turn them on, turn them on season. I can't start right now. So, so finally uh, on. Uh, May 26, uh, I started my home dialysis training. Uh, I was training with this lady from um, Garden Hill. Her name is Sandra Harper. Uh, she had started before me, but maybe two weeks before me she had started. So I, uh, I, was, I trained for, uh, it's supposed to have been a 10 week uh, training period, but I was uh, kind of lucky there. I. Uh, I was only here for nine weeks. I went to go. I I got to go home a week earlier. Uh, I guess uh, they figured I was uh, I was ready. Uh, this new machine here that we're using for a home dialysis now is uh, called the Formula 2000. Uh, it's pretty. It's all computerized and everything. It's so much easier than well now it is to me. It's so much easier than these old machines I used to use. So, you got a monitor right here. It's more adjustable. 
I couldn't pull it right up to me if I want. So I don't have to reach, and it's right here. And I, I, uh, I dialyze uh, four hours a week. Well, at home, like I, uh, I more or less make on my own schedule, but I, much for the most part, I try to stick to a Monday, Wednesday, Friday routine. When I first started this, this training, I, I felt I felt I wasn't pro progressing enough, like not fast enough. And, and they told me you're doing great, you know. They, they kept they kept they kept me my my confidence up, you know. They you're, you're just great, real great woman. I'm married. I have I have uh, I have a. Uh, we have two two daughters. They're grown now. They're a thirty-two year old and a twenty-nine year old. I have five grandkids, and uh, I consider myself very, very lucky to be able to be home with them. Because I know a lot of people, uh, original uh, dialysis patients. Uh, they have to live in the city here. They have to relocate. They can. They don't have the. Uh, I guess they don't have to send us like I do what we do at Murray House. Uh, they don't have uh, uh, the, uh, the rent, running water in their reserve or whatnot. And they can't do their <coughs> home dialysis at home. It's very unfortunate for them. I uh, I feel for them. Like, 